All right, bet we're going to do that right after. Bow. Yeah, man, we back at it with another one, YouTube, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe for the kid, you heard? Yeah, we're getting straight into it. This is a Jubilee video about uh, son uh, retiring from the lifestyle. Even on. right now, as we speak, there are some 10, Why? 12, 14 year olds that. <laughs> Why does son look like Even that? right now, as we speak, there are. Why is. <laughs> What's up? This this is crazy. I don't know why sun face is pissing me off though. But there are some ten, twelve, fourteen year olds that's being groomed right now. Most people end up the way they are because they're a product of their environment. Facts. And that's one thousand percent true. The homie face, yo, the posture is crazy. Why is he saying like that? Is this the son of some shit? He trying to be serious? The fuck? Because they're a product of their environment, and that's. Yo, he's pissing me off. He's pissing me off. 1,000% truth. If you were alone in a room with a former gang member, what would you ask? Do you ever feel like you had a normal life? Have you ever been to jail? Have you ever killed someone? What is your favorite song? He ain't gonna kill shit. That nigga is He's going to jail. My name is Sabrina. What's your name? I'm Tyrone, Sabrina. Tyrone. So, like, uh, just curious, can I get a little bit of your background? Start from the beginning. Well, I'm a uh, former gang member. Mm -hmm. part of the Crip gangs. Been in L.A. and been in, uh, in the gang neighborhoods. There's no way to get around it. Yeah, Either you're going to be a part of it as a victim or you're going to be a part of it as a member. So I chose Facts. to be a member. That was the safest route. In the inner city of L.A., okay. you have gang members on every block. So if you're a part of a certain... Not to come off, I always wonder. I feel like in L.A. it's way harder, bro, to navigate. But I can't say that because I feel like anywhere in the world is always harder. But like in LA, I feel like they started gangs. Like no matter where you turn, it's a gang there. Like you feel me? Like damn, I ain't gonna gang bang. But these niggas over here think I, I cause I live over here. I'm from here, so. But that's anywhere though. Let me let me stop, bro. I don't know why I just think it's a little bit worse because it's just it's where shit started. Like all these gangs around the world came from LA for the most part gang that kind of gave you a sense of security what age did okay. you start out as a gang member common answer. started running with them around 12 but actually got also fully common. accepted around 14. when you started in the gang was it was it something because like you know you wanted to feel like scarface a lot of us grew up in the neighborhood and our brothers and sisters okay. are gang members right That's and we part. want to be like that right we're not looking for that out we want that reputation that my brother got he went to jail you know you might find it crazy, but a lot of guys growing up looking forward to that. Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? I don't know how to say this to explain this. Like, niggas got family members that been in gangs and shit growing up. But, like, I feel like even when I used to hear certain niggas be, like, happy to go to jail and the reaction certain niggas used to get when they go to jail, I never understood that shit, bro. Never. Because I'm like, bro, you going away... Yeah, you got your respect, but you're going away to sit around a bunch of men behind a wall and niggas is grown, other grown men is telling you when to eat, sleep, and shit. Huh? Nah, that shit don't sound right to me. That shit, that shit sound, right then and there, that's why I knew this shit was a setup. I'm like, somebody is lying to you niggas or I'm not getting the full picture. Somebody may not be filling me in on what's going on because that jail never made sense to me. I'm like, damn, you can't leave when you want to. You can't, y'all don't got good food. Damn, these little bitches? Nah, my fault. But like, I'm like, nah, son, that, mm, that's funny. You know, getting them stripes, that shows that you're serious about that life. But yeah, that's another thing. LA, they different, bro. They literally brainwash niggas like, yeah, you go to jail, yeah, you're gangster, you get your stripes, huh? I'm locked away, who the fuck is? <laughs> the enemy territory that I just took over is probably gonna be gone, because I'm not here to, you know what I'm saying, to get shit situated, but. Life. Being a gang member, do you ever feel like you had a normal life? At the time, I felt normal. Being a gang member at that time, it, it was a, it was like an honor, a badge of honor, honestly. What was the initiation process like? Painful. Getting jumped in, you may end up fighting anywhere between four to six guys. They're cussing you, they're, they're literally beating you up. But as soon as it's over, as soon as it stops, shaking hands and hugging you, and you are now officially a part of this family. 
A mm-hmm. lot of people don't understand why they're trying to hurt you. If you're trying to be a part of the gang, but it, it's basically to see what type of man you are. Exactly. You know, can you take some of the things that may happen to you in this situation? Do you have any gang-related tattoos? Yeah, I have several. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> Probably my my gang name. They call me by my nickname, T Mac. On the left, it says T T E E going down the back, and then it has Mac on the other side, M A C. To this day. I still get called by that name. Yeah. Another question. How can you really leave a gang? Like, I feel like that shit is really clipped. Unless you, like, move far away or some shit like that. But, like, isn't that shit blood in, blood out? On oh, my bucket. I don't like, I'm not saying, you feel me? Not trying to imply that, but, hey. Okay, that's a really cool nickname. <laughs> they ain't let that nigga Quando Rondo leave. Just saying. No, I don't chill. <laughs> So what is a normal day um, in the life of a gang member? First thing is on your mind is making some money. Cap! I mean, <laughs> Cap! I ain't gonna lie. None of these young niggas is thinking about that. When they, when they may think about it, they may think they're thinking about it. These young niggas is on a BT, bro. Bad timing. Breach is not in a fucking scalati, bro. They're not thinking about making breach the way these young niggas be moving. Just saying, but. We were going to school, we were able to make money in school, selling weed at school, selling dope okay. at school. Dope that became an uh, easy way for this thing gotta be from like the a 80s. lot of us to make money when we couldn't get money like from our parents early 90s, or maybe? if it was just nah, hard times at home. Dragon. Have you ever been to jail? <laughs> yeah, been to jail a few times. Was it regarding your drugs or the gang? Drugs and as well as robbery and stuff like that came mm. gang back. Have you ever experienced anyone like overdosing over drugs? I've experienced people overdosing on drugs. I've experienced a lady going in labor, oh, wow. actually having a child on the streets at oh, the gosh. time that she was trying to purchase some crack. Wow. You know, just for a little bit of dope. Did that ever make you want to stop selling drugs or was I it kind of just like, I need money too? Like, you have to convince yourself, well, this is what it's going to take for me to survive. You're thinking to yourself, well, I'm not making them do it. Right. You know, this is their choice. You give yourself all these reasons to keep doing it without blaming yourself. Do you remember the first time that you held a gun? I can remember clear as day. When I graduated middle school, right after my graduation, clear as day, I went to the neighborhood, and the guy that's considered my big homie, his gift to me as a graduation gift was that 20... Real quick, how old do you when you graduate middle school? Like 11, 12, some shit like that? Middle school, I can't two, remember. And $200 going on crack promise. cocaine. People look at that as a negative, like who, what type of gift is that? Some crack and a gun, but living that life, that was a great gift. Yeah. I felt protected, even though it was a little 22. Have you ever killed someone? No, no not, yeah. not to my knowledge. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga, no statute of limitations on murder, nigga. You answer that question wrong, nigga. You are going to jail. <laughs> Shit, me. Let's go back real quick for you dummies. I life, that was a great gift. Yeah. I felt protected, even though it was a little 22. Understand. Have you ever killed someone? This was a setup. No, 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 not, not to my knowledge, much. it was crazy. You shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> have you, <laughs> you should have said no. Nah. close call with death? I mean, in the 80s, drive-by shootings was real prevalent. You could be standing outside nice. daytime, nighttime. It just didn't matter. They were there that fast and started shooting at us to where We'll get to running and bullets are literally hitting walls in front of us, passing us up. So no, those are some scary situations and drive-bys because you have no idea where the bullets are going. Nope. Yeah. Do you feel like you become desensitized to violence? I think I'm more sensitive to violence that's, now, that's being done because as cold-hearted as you need to be. I can't take this, I, I can't take something serious, bro. Not, not T-Mac, my son, uh, you know what I'm saying? Politicking. This nigga, what's up? Is he a prop? <laughs> this is like, I don't, I don't get it. The militant look is not it for him. I don't know if it's the fit that's throwing me off. The college shirt button to the presidential suite is pissing me off. If we really, if we got to keep it a bean, that shit is pissing me off. With the two double pockets, there's nothing in there. It's probably not even pockets for real. This shit is for looks. He pissing me off. That... <clears throat> You know what? I'm gonna let my son rock because I'm, I'm about to cook him. The hat is pissing me off too. The, the Sony Sega Genesis hat is, bro. This fit is a lot of. Uh, this fit is egregious. First and foremost, I gotta say, us had sure. remorse, but we couldn't show that. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't show that to the homies. We need to be as non-remorseful and as evil as they are. Do you ever feel like you were hiding under some sort of facade of masculinity? Oh, oh my God! Here we go with this shit again, bro.
Of course, you have to develop this character. You have to become more tougher. You know, you have to become more what they call harder, less remorseful, and kind of like not care. And so a lot of times you have to walk around with your chest out. And there were times where I had to put up that real the real question is, was my son father in his life for real, for real, but... Real you know, tough guy from side to maybe, you know, scare the hell out of somebody. Bro, How did right. being in a gang affect your relationships with friends, families, partners? I literally lived a double life. There was a situation where we had participated in a drive-by shooting. So I walk in the house and... <laughs> Yo, cuz... What's up? <laughs> the situation that I participated in is actually on the news. My mom's on the phone and she's watching this story on the news. And I'm listening to her tell her friend, oh, it's a shame how these kids killing one another. And, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, wow, she don't have no idea that her son was just a part of that. And I even get chills talking about that right, even right now as I speak about it. In the movies, what do they get wrong and what do they get right? You when you look at gang movies, it's issue. about violence, it's about robbing, it's about killing, everything is negative. But the side the movies miss is that camaraderie, that brotherly and that family love. Everybody there has your back, even on financial things and, and things that you need to get done that you might not be able to get from your family. They'll take care, they'll take care of that for you. That really is your family. I'm a native of uh, Southern California, so I have ties to gang culture. When you say it means love, but they're going against each other like other gangs, I don't see that being love. Well, that's because there are reasons that only we, that you can only understand as a gang member on why I'm against my brother. I totally understand, but at the same time, gang culture wasn't intended for that. There was a visual anti type thing intended to protect, like it was in the Bay Area back in the day with the Black Panthers. You're going against each other. It just defeated the purpose to me. Do you agree with that? I agree. Let's give it a bang. I, I was wondering why someone was pissing me off. He did have something that he that, that needed to be said. That shit is definitely meant for the Black Panthers. That shit is definitely meant to protect and preserve the community and not destroy the shit. So I definitely agree with my son there. That's not cool. I agree with it to a certain extent. Oh. The Black gangs in particular were invented to protect our own neighborhood. Exactly. A few people know that CRIP stands for Community Resistance and Progress. Yes. So back then, that's what it was supposed to represent. Is it something that could be fixed? I don't think that it could ever totally be fixed because of the over. hatred and the dislike. Not even a lot. Not I'm not even one of them niggas that just like nah, that shit can never be fixed. I'm only saying that because once blood is shit, niggas, it's past, it's, it's past niggas. First of all, niggas inherited beef from niggas two, three generations before them. So nobody's asking questions. Yo, why are we beefing with them? That's not even, niggas, I don't like them, they don't like me, I'm from over here, they from over there, fuck them, fuck us. We the ops, they the ops. That's the whole, there's no real line of questioning being going on. Niggas trying to figure out why we doing this, what's going on with that, because niggas is brainless. Niggas is just following the leader, niggas just going whatever, whatever, whoever say what. So, that's why I don't think it's going to stop, but... That's my opinion, right? Runs deep from a long time ago. Exactly. Some of us can look at it and say, well, no. First of all, most of these niggas never even met the gang leaders. They don't know what's the real foundation of what what, what it started out to be. Like, the community, that shit, let's keep it a being, could have been made up. Nobody know Tookie Williams, or I don't know if that's, uh, forgive me if that's a name or if it's not, but the, the, the gang leader at that, that point in time that was there, like, these niggas is artifacts, bro. This is all passed down. So, you know, like, if you ever played, um, what's that shit? Like, telephone? As 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 information gets passed on, the shit gets more and more diluted and, and misread and, and all that shit. So, who's to, who's to really know what a lot of this shit even mean or what, as far as the literature? Shit is watered down. Shit could be, niggas could be added shit. It's just like the Bible, my nigga. Kill my just brother. Saying, that yeah. was a little or they killed right. my homie. That that would never be forgiven. Exactly. It needs to exactly. be another way. Saying. That's just, that's all I'm saying. No, there's there's nothing good about it. Yeah. What what was like your uh, moment of like awakening where you were like, oh dang, I gotta switch it up. There was no particular moment. You don't so much get out of gangs, even when you get it in your forties, your fifties. You're still considered part of that family. You're just doing different things in your life. Eventually, I went to college. I ended up moving to Oklahoma City. I ended up being a police officer, working in the schools. I can use
Nah, I'm not even gonna lie. That's one hell of a 360, bro. For being a gang member to a police officer is type crazy. Wow. This is my experience to show. Shout out to Sun, though. You feel me? I don't. You know what I mean? I don't really fuck with cops for other reasons, but that. he changed his life, so I gotta respect it. Tilt my ass to you, brother. Salute. Uh -huh. You know, you can get out of this shit. Are you still a cop, or? I'm not a cop no more. Wouldn't, wouldn't go back into that life for nothing in the world. To me, the police officer had their own gangs as well. Police Academy is kind of like a brotherhood, just like gangs. And Most of certain the, things- That's another thing, bro. Most of the shit that you get into in, in, in life and experience is brotherhood. Is you a man, like fraternities, Brotherhood, police officers, brotherhood, the army, brotherhood, all of these different things are giving you that outlet of brother of like togetherness, brotherhood, love and, and, and camaraderie. So yeah, I think you just gotta figure out which which brotherhood you wanna be a part of for real, for real. For real Things up. have to stay within those walls. It's I gotta see how they Special really show. Cop, it could be some racial shit. Biggest gang in the world. PS don't kill me. Police is definitely the biggest gang in the world. First, it can be some negative things said about us. The with government. me being a part of that life that they hated so much, a lot of things that they said affected me. It bothered me because that was my life. Did you have to arrest any of your like own homeboys and stuff like never, that? Never, because I was never a police officer in LA. I, I knew, he never moved. Done that. That's the rule of the way. streets were more important to me than anything. If I had to arrest a gang member as a police officer, I would have quit. Dang. You know, because I'm not, that's not what I was there for. Are you still in contact with anyone from your gang? Yeah, daily. Just because you change your life, you don't turn your back on your friends or guys that are still caught up. You still have to stay connected because this is a, a lifetime involvement. Do you regret having been in a gang? The only regrets I have from being in the gang would be the hurt that I cause people because at that time you don't realize- Let's keep it a beat. In a gang, can you really not commit violence? Like, if niggas, like, you gotta realize, you got older dudes or, like, people that are above you that outrank you if they tell you to do something. Like, I mean, you could probably not do it, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna beat your ass. So, like, is it really worth it? Or is, like, do niggas really do that? And do you get respected for that? Or they just be like, nah, fuck that, you can't be in the gang no more, you're a square. You don't wanna do nothing, we say, you fuck out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, insubordination type shit. Like, if I'm in the army and I tell nigga, and I'm like the general, and I'd be like, yeah, y'all niggas got, y'all about to march for this mound, and the nigga don't march. I cannot, like, send something to jail or violate. Like, it's, it's ranks in this, in this, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, somebody let me know. I done hit the mic three times in this fucking video. I'm tripping out. Word. You were doing how bad it's affected people and how bad it can hurt people. My regret would be that yeah, I helped this good. multiply. I helped it spread worldwide. I mean, gang banging is in places that you would never think now. Do you think gang culture will She's ever die out? Hell no. Honestly, no. Hell no. Because even right now as we speak, She's worldwide. there are some young 10, 12, 14 year olds that's being groomed right now. Most Facts. people end up the way they are because they're a product of their environment. And that's 1,000% truth. If your kids today, or if you do have kids or in the future, if they wanted to join a gang, what would your mindset be as far as that? My kids are old enough to where they understand. And they know that's not the path they should take. Uh -huh. They know about the life. They know about my past. They're just proud that I'm not doing it now. Respect. I respect this man because he made a decision as a kid. And he recognized, you feel me, this wasn't, this wasn't it. And my man's moved forward, man. I'm trying to do something, be a productive human being and a... a Good person in society, bro. I respect him, man. So, final Fuck question. What, what is your favorite song of all time? California Love by Tupac. <laughs> Such a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's all I got to really say for this, man. Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe down below, man. Uh, Mad love, man, to this brother. And be great, man.